Hello, hello. Gonna be finishing up this wonderful sketch right over here of Sash Reek. Looking forward to adding color to this. And you guys can actually tune in a little closer. Yeah. Get a little closer so you can see the action. Check out the action up close. Zoom in for you. All right, so what I'm seeing is that this face has certain areas that are uh, a little bit darker than others, and that's actually in the skin tone itself. Uh, it looks like around the eyes is one of them, and uh, the lips are very similar to the eye color. So we're gonna use certain colors just for those areas and those areas alone so that we can capture that darkness on the face. And um, we can go ahead and do a switch here. Let's do this photo, which is comparable to what you're seeing there you go and uh, I'm using my handy dandy carandage in combination with the Prisma color art sticks so I'm gonna use this dog brown or uh, let's see sienna brown it's called I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, get those dark areas covered You know what I didn't do is erase my marks from before. So, let's see if we can find a way to do this. Aha! Yeah! Got one of them. Helps out so much. <laughs> All I have to do is zoop, 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 zoop. You gotta make that noise with your mouth first, though. Yeah, that, that sound effect. Zoop, zoop, zoop. <laughs> and almost ready. Should probably have done this before I started the live. <laughs> lesson learned, lesson learned. I think that's great right there. That's all we need. All right, get this dark color right in there. Let's go ahead and zoom into his face right here so you guys can see that. Actually, go over this area as well, just to bring in that darkness into uh, where the shadow will be for that beard. Congratulations to Saj Reek for uh, winning in the 100 100K giveaway. One of the winners of the 100K giveaway. And it was so kind to participate. I appreciate you guys. And uh, thank you so much for your support, getting me a over 100K. Finally getting to these drawings, and I'm super stoked to get them done for you. Just putting some base color on some of the areas. And we're gonna go ahead and add, it seems to be a gold, but there are, there's a lot of green on his face. There's a lot of green on his face, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Maybe I should get it a little up close and personal here, and you guys can see that better. Let's look. Let's see what we got here. Turn the camera over. See those greens on the face right there, right over here. Uh, it's very, very faint. However, uh, to me, when it comes to like a commission, I like to add those additional colors. And even if it's very, very light, very faint, 
it does add a certain level of range to the face uh, reality um, as well so I like to I like to put those in I like to put those in where are you guys from tell me where you guys are from spam your country with your flag attached right to it let's see let's see where you guys are all from and then in combination with that green you use that pink and what happens is that with the mixture it does become a little bit brown but with that brown um, you have those shadows but those shadows are a little bit more rich than just the specific color used uh, because it's in certain areas and you applied pressure to some areas that you didn't in others and therefore it's a totally different feel than if you just use the mixed color for uh, that, that's already done for you so it's, it's better in my opinion it does take a little longer so you definitely should take that into account but you don't need to like in, in a commission you know, like i said you i like to i like to take my time and remember that these areas are not going to be brown this is just to show that there is a shadow um being applied and in fact talking about different shapes and things here different shadows you go ahead and pull this out just a tad over here because you can see the shape change right there and in fact there's a little bit more right there that i want to add in so let's go ahead and do that there we go and that's what we're looking at right over here and we go back there boom so again um with these browns this is just to talk about the skin color color that is underneath the black itself so i'm simply going to take a golden kind of color just to kind of go with his skin tone in addition to the green that we laid in and we're gonna add that gold and i'm all i'm literally thinking about the tone and value that this is in relation to where the lighting is which there's a light somewhere sort of behind right behind the camera um, and we can see actually the shadow drop shadow right there so it's it's sort of high up and and coming down so we should be able to see it on that cheek right there and you can see that the very very faint difference of lighter changing into darker right in that line right there so that is what we need to focus on for this area here and notice that none of his face is white even his eye is not white is it's just in, in comparison to its surrounding it looks really really light so we're going to go over that we're going to go over that but we're still going to put that highlight that is on the edge and how do we know that there's a highlight, right? Well, because of that, because of that same thing, that right here is darker than this little bit right there. So that tells you that right away that the highest of light should be the white of the paper. Um, and that's how you know that you need to darken a certain area. So I'm gonna actually go a little deeper with that, brown, with that golden color, but I will come back to it later and add another coat of um, a, a neutralizing color so here's what i mean this color is sort of in between here and and the green actually so the neutralizing color would lay on the other side of the color wheel this purple right there will neutralize this color and that's how you know folks people want to know this is the one this is how So I'm just simply taking the golden and, and mixing it in with the pink that I applied and the green that's already there. That pink is going to add range and also show that there is blood flowing through there. Um, and because of that, it's going to make it look a little bit more realistic. And that's what I like. I like making it sort of look realistic as much as I can, um, you know, just within my 
style, I guess you can call it, but um, I don't like to give myself excuses as to why I didn't, you know, do it as realistic as possible because, you know, ultimately everyone has a way of doing things. However, I'm still, still learning, still pushing to know more. Hope you guys never feel that you have learned everything um, because there's always something that you can learn. Always somebody better than you are um, who will inspire you, hopefully, to continue seeking knowledge. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just seeking knowledge. Um, uh, down here, I'm thinking of a cylinder. So from here to about here, there is a roundness which this angle does not show. Um, we know that the eye is round, so we know that that is from here to here, the under, underlid, underlid is a shape of a cylinder right there. So what we want to do is sort of add some light, some highlights and some dark areas so that it looks like it's round, rounding about the eye. Okay, so before we do that, I want to not forget this eye, and I'm going to neutralize that golden color that we applied initially, and we, you know what we talked about um, right over here that this area is darker than this highlight right here. However, right underneath the lid, there is a sh drop shadow from the upper eyelid. And talking about the eye a little bit more in detail, that brightness is on the black area of the pupil. So what we're actually seeing right there is this background right here. This background, we're literally, the angle at which we're looking, right down that way, it reflects, the angle is, is simply bouncing off at an, at, an ang at the angle at which you're looking at it. So um, it hits here and it sort of mirrors and that's what we're looking at right there. So we're gonna go ahead and try to continue that here. And we're gonna actually add a gray onto that black. And you see that highlight because there's darkness around it. So that means that this black needs to be more black one we know that right right there all right and this brown needs to be much darker so if that is not dark enough right if that is not dark enough then we're going to need to use a different complementary color to make it darker I'll show you what that will be soon here. You're getting up close and personal with me as I take you as close as we can within reason <laughs> um, to this drawing and so you guys can see the process as clearly as possible. Um, so, okay, so we have done the brown right in there and the brown is a very warm color. All of the warm colors are on this side. So which one would you possibly use, right, to make this darker? Yes, indeed, I am holding it already, is this blue. So with the brown being right there, we're gonna add the blue right, right up onto the, right as close as we can get, get it to that highlight on the eye and is going to darken that up just a tad. And it looks like it's getting a little muddy. What we call is that you know, the, the paper is actually not taking any more of the color. So that in itself is an issue and we're gonna need to deal with that. And I deal with it with a neo color. The neo colors are much softer and they will go over the area very nicely. So check this out. With that being said, we do want to um, darken, we do, or I should say rather, lighten the uh, 
the effect of the eye, um, the eye reflection, so that it is a little bit more rounded and everything. Sh change the shape, make it a tad dark, or rather lighter. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so now that we have laid in a very, very dark color here, we want to bring it back to a more soft application right there so that it's not as dark as the actual black. So to do that, we're gonna use this guy right here. Mix it up. Just simply by going over it, you, you're mixing it. And that's pulling back some of the color ultimately you're applying the peach color on top and this is this is some of the difficulty that i've had to learn to deal with so that already is giving us the highlight that we specified right over here see on the eye right there and we're going to go ahead and uh, now that that's lighter um, we can apply the black again to the lashes as you can see there are very very long lashes right there and we're gonna apply that la the lashes right there boom that's one and then lashes two right down here it's okay it's okay to have lashes on guys guys <laughs> really really is it's all good I'm going to pull back right around the edge of that a little more. There we go. And that is looking like what we need. Cool. So now we're going to move on with the gold again. We're going to apply that down here where the shadows kind of meet the um, main highlight of the skin. And we got to keep in mind the structure. There's a muscle that goes from here right to the bottom of that and then there's a triangular area right over here and that will be the adam's apple and then this muscle on that side will wrap around here and that's what you're looking at right here okay so let's try and apply that to this Thanks again so much for the participants of the 100K giveaway. You guys were really, really cool. Like, it was an amazing response when I went to uh, choose the winner. A lot of people showed up. I was talking about, I was I'm talking about 70 people on the live. You guys freaking rocked it. Um, I, I felt very, very honored that you guys would join me. And don't hesitate to uh, turn on those post notifications so that you guys don't miss anything. You know, don't worry about going out of the line necessarily because there is remedy as long as you have your complementary colors and everything you can do so much you don't have to worry about much at all so it looks like we're gonna take this right down to the bottom here and that will sort of give us this structure. Soften it up as you go up a little higher. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. Looking good, looking good. Just gonna, looks like I will need more color here. <laughs> I'm kind of running out of this <laughs> wonderful golden color but eventually we'll get more no worries all right we're gonna go ahead and keep the pressure down on that come up on the pressure and let, let let easy so that it will go from dark really dark to the lighter colors right here just mixing them in and again there's not going to be any white of the paper here this is so that we can work the color to the point where we know where the shapes are because we applied them with dark colors first and then just smoothing it all out, smoothing it all out. So here we go, we're gonna smoothen it all out and then wherever we see that we need to add a little bit of darkness, all you have to do is put a little bit more 
pressure on the page with the color and you'll have that you'll have that additional uh, darker color and one of the things you should know about darker colors with you know when it comes to um, not such dark colors like this is you you can only you can only go as dark as as the color itself you can never go as dark as the black with this color so eventually you'll need to do the complementary colors to add more depth and add shadows um, ultimately make it look more realistic so again there is no white on the skin so, but i'm going over this with a very very light touch very light touch to blend that right in I'm going to add a little bit more dimension with this right here because there is a plane right here that goes from all the way back there to the front. But as you can see, it's just a flat sheet of paper. So, of course, I have to, you know, go with what I'm what I uh, the shapes that allow the eye to be tricked and make it look sort of 3D. So here this is how it's looking so far. And this is what we're looking at right over here. And yeah, I did add that pink to the ears. Um, we're gonna go ahead and push with this brown along the route of the pink. And yes, the ear is simplified as well. So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to feel like you ever have to, you know, like, like you always have to do all of the details. Really, it's, you know, it is a caricature after all, and you can, play by <laughs> I swear to God I did not plan that <laughs> I swear to you I did not plan that <laughs> so now that we have those browns and that we're casting the shadows and things now we're gonna start pushing uh, the other colors right in here and this color is a very saturated color in relation to this this brown You can see that this has a lot more blue than this So this color right here is going to give us that rich you know boom on the face and yeah, we can also see that right here. There's a lot of black so i'm just again i'm just applying this dark right here because of the shadow on the skin tone um and eventually that's just gonna be all black looking so in fact i'm gonna also put blue here just to add a little bit more depth and yes it also will knock down some of the values from the white you know if we go in with the black straight on we're still gonna have some white shine through, so we want to kill that as much as we can, so we, we put some other colors, and in fact, I'm gonna do that to the head right here. And in fact, when I start to mix that blue, which is a complementary color to the warmer colors on the other side of the color wheel, we'll get this rich black that you can see here, so check that out. And just like that is taking shape. Boom. We're going to go ahead and add this color with the line grain so that we don't break that flow of the hair. <laughs> Again, I'm adding blue, guys. Blue. And this is how it looks because of the mixture that we did initially. So yeah, complementary colors, color wheel, color theory, all beautifully and related in this wonderful harmony that we call life. Careful on this line right here. And again, that yellow, that golden color that we applied to the skin, if we did need to add a little bit more, we could go with that brown or we can use the purple because again we talked about that gold being right about here so the purple will give it that darker and more range 
uh, feel to it. So I'm going to add this brown, or this uh, purple right on here now so you can see what I'm talking about. It's very lightly, not super hard at all. And it just takes shape right there. You can see that it adds that darkness to it. Sorry about the shine of the wax on these colors, but it is what it is. Gonna go ahead and push right down there where the darkest points are with that purple. And then if we need to go darker, we just go over it with the uh, gold again and give it that skin feel to it. Let's see if you can see that better. Boom, just push the purple sort of out of that area yet mixing it at the same time. Boom, yes, looking so fun. Now, we're gonna go ahead and add the purple to the areas right here where we had those other colors, um, which will give it a little bit more range of uh, a dark color right there, right here. And in fact, we're gonna go ahead and push this shape into a more triangular shape because as this comes out, you can see that the shape sort of rounds about here. So we gotta kind of round about there as well to give it that look that it has on the photo. Somebody once said, oh, instead of using a, you know, black or uh, only a peach just use purple and i thought that there was some truth to it but i, I was like why to, you know don't just tell us use a color tell us why you know and i thought it was so such incomplete information i was like man i wish that someone would have explained it to me um in a, in a better way so i'm just really really trying to learn about all of these aspects of color theory and everything so that you guys can um, hopefully get some information that is useful. Thanks so much for watching Big Al Art. Thanks so much for being there. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, from India, hello, hello. Uh, you the color CEO. <laughs> That's hilarious, jo Jocks uh, Art. Jocks Art, thanks so much for <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna actually apply a lighter blue to that darker blue, but I'm gonna put more pressure so that I can ki really kill that white that is showing. So I'm gonna just push a little more, a little more, boom, 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 boom. And yes, it will make it darker and that's okay. And that's, that's what we need. I mean, ultimately his hair is is black. So, you know, that if the fact that it gets darker is a good thing, you know? All right. I'm going to go ahead and push right over here as well with this dark blue along the lines of that brown. It'll give us it'll give us just a little bit of darkness, but it also, as you can see here, give us a little bit of um, take over uh, and take uh, on that marker black that's there. Um, but you can see even at the top is much lighter and it does look it, oh, like this almost blended right in <laughs> with that blue. So let's go ahead and make this darker, this lighter, because that's at the top and capturing some of the light better than this area. So we're going to go ahead and push right here. I'm going to also apply the grain at which the flow of the hair is going. So that right there will give us what we need. And after that... I'm going to go ahead and um, eh, almost almost went with the black in there, but I want to try this brown here again. Mix it with that blue. And again, if this doesn't work, if this doesn't get your the hair as dark as it could be, right, then we can really apply even the other complementary colors, red. We can apply green. Red and green are very, very, very dark of a combination. So we could always do that, but eh, we are achieving that darker here and lighter there area. And we're gonna go ahead and add the 
other colors to make that look black this is what it's looking like right now if you guys want to take a screenshot of that you're welcome to and five four three two one awesome thanks so much for that also we've got black shirt but i'm gonna make it blue why again same reason as this right up here I want to have that range this time i'm not going to use a brown to sort of combine it with this what i'm going to use is red because red and blue are also very very dark colors especially this blue with the pure red i believe is a scarlet kind of red um, that will give us a very dark and again the light source is coming from behind where the camera is right now so we need to apply shadows sort of right over here you would think right but as you can see is lighter why is that lighter well i'll tell you why this white background is affecting his shirt a lot so what's interesting is this area is absorbing the light that's coming down and is also not reflecting it right to us right is absorbing the light but this right here is really pushing and in fact the angle just like the eye that we said here the angle deter has determined the the reflection the reflectiveness um this right here is is that's happening to this part of the shirt so this is so bright that you can actually see shadows coming from uh the lighting that's coming from the wall so um so we could do that but i you know knowing knowing is you know knowledge is power so you know knowing that is there great that's fine i'm not gonna go through all that right why would i do that yeah you know it just it just looks so good i'm probably gonna go ahead and do it anyway it's just so fun to execute um and just uh you know just make it make your eye feel as if there's a light source coming in from the back so you're gonna apply shadow right over here um the shapes are sort of going like this up down so you know so this light source now becomes a dark part of the shirt so we're gonna darken that edge right there and we're gonna let as you can see you can lighten that side so that means that this to show that there is a light side right here there needs to be dark right next to it and so on so it's it's sort of taking shape here and again i'm just simply having fun with these colors because we want to have color in every piece i mean ultimately if it's a black and white piece you don't need to but yeah if it's color shoot you know get those colors in there you know and also it'll be more artistic like <laughs> it, it really really does add a certain feel of of your taste in art and i really really enjoy that all right so now we're starting to see now that i've darkened this side now is when we're starting to see the highlights on this side which is coming from the back here and again there is a gold that came out here i'm actually going to go ahead and extend that i'm going to make those shadows uh just as pronounced if we can a little blurry on the edges right a little blurry on the edges so you can already see the shadows coming in and that shadow will need a little bit more conditioning with the purple and i'm probably going to do the adam's apple right there I'm do the Adam's apple right there, yeah. I think we should. Also, that chin, since it is coming out quite a bit, gonna boom, push that out there. Um, the the hair will also lay in a shadow uh, with the shapes of the hair right back there, and that's what we're looking at. Okay, so let's just take a step back. 
revisit the hair just so that we can sort of start to finish the hair um the the head a little bit better um uh, got this dark color here this is it's gonna be sort of mixing in and as you can see this is the prisma color so yeah we tried it just now i'm not too happy with it um so i'm gonna go ahead and add the other colors that will mix with this perfectly um i think we said red will work so i do kind of see sort of a reddish kind of feel in some areas and a lot of blue because of that drop shadow um so i might be able to get away with adding this all around um given that there is a shadow laying on that wall from the background so i'm probably gonna just add a little bit of this but I'm also gonna darken with the red. So I'm just gonna push gently, gently, just to be able to control it until you kind of get the gist of what that side of the color is doing. Um, sort of, you're, you're basically calibrating the hair, uh, the, the color stick right now. You're calibrating your hand to use that color stick right now. And what's interesting is each color stick has its own calibration uh, ways, if you will. And that just has to do with how the person colors. Um, my friend, very, very dear friend, Jason Riggs, told me that he didn't let anybody use his colors. And I was like, why? It's just colors. And he says, well, because, you know, you don't, the, I got them worked in just the way I want it. I was like, holy cow. That's amazing. Saludos, Solcita. Saludos. Um, and I didn't. And, and I was thinking, like, I don't get it. You know. You know what I said? I said, "Holy cow!" But after. Um, but at that moment, I was like, I don't get it. Like, why? Why would he not let me borrow his colors? Like, that's not cool. You know. I don't appreciate. You know. I don't. You know. What do you mean? You don't trust me? Like all these thoughts went through my mind, and it wasn't that. It was. It was like. Yeah, he, each artist, each artist has their own way of applying color, you know, and, and it actually will show your level of, of quality, you know, based on how you, because the, it, it, this tells a story, just the way you use them on the paper, <laughs> it'll it'll show on the color itself it's as if it were a mirror image and it's so cool uh the fact that by using them a certain way uh, uh, you can achieve higher quality work um and also you yourself uh, as an artist have better control of certain things and it's just <sighs> beautiful it's just beautiful art is beautiful so I'm applying these, this violet color purple uh, onto this gold. And what's happening is that's making it into more of a shadow. And again, this dark area right down here will come across right there. So that's what we're about to add. And I am excited. Let's see what we got right over here. And that mustache also needs to be finished right there. Boom. And that makes that black way more powerful. You see that? And apply a little bit light, lightly onto that shadow. And then a little bit more harshly on the edge of the beard itself. Boom. Now we can see the division. That's all we need right there. That's, you know, just take that right from there and, you know, sort of uh, dagger stroke it uh, up, upward, vertically, right there. And yeah, I'm actually killing the, the fade right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back 
just a little bit with this gold. Just a little bit. Now that gold mixed with the brown and everything will give an entirely different appearance. Um, he does ha have sort of like a fade with that gold applied right up to the bottom of that. And I can diffuse it, sort of uh, blend it out. Now we can kind of see the skin shine through. And we're going to add that black again to the top here. And we're almost finished. As soon as we finish the hair, we're doing good. We're about to uh, finish it off. Ooh, careful not to overtake that fade again. Boom, right? And we talked about how these need to go with the flow right over here. So we're just gonna add a few flow lines right to the top. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and add the last little bits of detail to the hair back here. Now that we have killed some of that white um, area back here that will shine through with the other colors, now we can apply the black. Now with that black, we can uh, finish off the actual color and value that it needs to be. And again, go with the flow when it comes to the uh, colors here. And always visualize where light will show it right here, where light will show. Okay, looking good. We're gonna go ahead and add a few flow lines right there. Some of them look terrible. <laughs> With that black, what that black does is it really, really takes over every single uh, color that's there already. Um, given that there is some of the white shining through. If it's the black that's taking over everything you know this this really really dark area right there cannot that you put a line through it you can't see it you know that's as dark as it gets so it's a really really powerful black very nice oh fell over there it's kind of tiny so it's just falling out of my hand I'm still visualizing like where the lighting is coming from. Still visualizing how the flow is going because it's important. It's important. You know, is that important? Kill some of these blues and reds, which, you know, I kind of like, but not in every single area that it was. So this is interesting right here. This is a drop shadow from the hair. You see that? That light, that light source is over there somewhere, sort of over there, and it's sort of coming in here and, and, and blocking some of this light back here. So that's what that is right there. That's very interesting. And in fact, right there, oof. And you see all this shine, right? All this weird shine. That's just from the light source, you know? That's what we're kind of looking at now. This is our caricature. All right, let's go back to the shirt. Now that we have, have applied the blue, we got this red that will make things a lot more dark, a lot more vibrant. So we're just gonna apply it lightly and evenly. Applying it evenly is such a challenge when you, you know, start using these colors for the first time. And I gotta tell you, it took some time to master uh, the thought of, <laughs> rather rather than master, to, to get better <laughs> at doing this. But it's, um, it's a lot of fun once you get it done. It's so cool. All right. Very interesting that it's forming a purple. And we can, yeah, we can work with that purple as we mentioned. 
um, and apply a yellow to it. And the three colors look so good. So good. I'm gonna actually partake in going outside and also uh, applying some of this red underneath here. I just feel like it will, with the purples, uh, give it a little bit more range and more warmth on the skin, um, which I can then sort of bring down with the blue just to make it dark and brownish. It really, really is all about a balance. And this right here is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, we talked about how also there is no white on the skin itself, so we have to add another color that would blend it all together. Oh, of course. You see that? You see that, Nick, right there? So you take your eraser, and you try to work that out of there. <laughs> all right, so we're going to take that color again, clean it, make sure that there is no additional stuff on it. All right, let's apply it over here first just to be safe, right? All right, good. Okay, now we're good. Oh, what is that? Those eraser marks now. Awesome. All right, but it's all good because it gives it the color itself would will actually blend it out a little bit. So that's what we're looking at right there. Just gently applying that color. Gently applying the different muscles that are coming from you know the inside of the face there what in the world oh i see what's going on see how you, how the black can can kick your butt sometimes it's on my nail and it actually is getting on the drawing as a result oh i just noticed there is a beauty mark right there so we're actually gonna apply a little bit of that mark right there boom all right try not to miss those things because people really really care <laughs> all right am i zooming in or something oh yeah that's right we're up close and personal with holiday j <laughs> getting some drawing done tonight for one of the giveaway winners my 100k giveaway you guys thank you so much for getting me over 100k followers you guys are the reason that i do this and you guys motivate me every day to get better every every day and check out my reels that's where i have a lot of my tutorials right now i have some interesting things and shapes going on um, that you may want to check out and exercises that you too can use at home to um sort of better yourself and to uh, practice visualizing faces within shapes and i think this is very very powerful guys this is just about ready and i'm super stoked i'm gonna go ahead and add a blue to the outside of this shadow and once i go over the shadow itself with that blue what's gonna happen is it's gonna get darker and it also will blend in nicely with the uh, background that we're creating. And that right there is looking great. Yeah. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Applying it evenly is probably the biggest challenge right now because you don't, you know, with this black, as I mentioned, it goes everywhere. Um, you want to be gentle and not so forceful in bringing that uh, black right out, you know, like right back into the background. So be careful with it. Take your time in doing the backgrounds and gently apply the pressure. Guys, you have been rocking it tonight, um, giving me some company, and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, you guys keep drawing, keep making things happen, all right? Hopefully this lot does not, does 
stay nice and clean for us. Let's see what we got here. Let's do, let's do this black on the other colors. Boom. Now we're applying those the light source from the background itself. Now we're just going to go over everything else, darken all that up. And again, you can see here, even here, you can see that there's some grays and things going on. You don't necessarily need to apply that, but it really will add to your entire quality of the drawing, right? So I like to apply them with the complementary colors. Let's go ahead and continue with this black right here. Just get it really nice and rich, dark right there and evenly applying it, boom. Then you apply the folds of the shirt. And you see how that happened right there? That's okay. I can turn that into a shadow with this brown right there. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of this black right there, just gently, just gently. Cause it is skin tone and it is definitely not as dark as the shirt itself. So be careful and um, put some, some pressure on that edge. Kill that white that is on the edge right there. Boom. Now we're seeing that as a shadow a lot more. All right, looking good. Just gonna add probably some gray to that area over there. Um, I'm gonna move this clip up a little bit. Hold on. Stay. Where did my brown? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go right outside of that frame, adding this black. I'm gonna add more pressure to it. I'm gonna actually tilt the color a little bit more on its tip instead of on its side, just so that we can get a lot more pressure in a certain direction. And that gives us the dark that we need a little more. Now, all of a sudden, now all of a sudden that there's dark around it, around the face, now we can see that it's way brighter, much brighter, and that's what we were looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and add this gray right there, kill the, to, brighter areas there or uh dark areas and you know just just gently work it in there it's definitely getting a little bit involved with the shirt um and i urge you to just do it you know i urge you to really try push to understand it don't be scared of it it's just a drawing you know uh, how else will you learn? You know what I mean? If you don't try it out, if you don't try to understand more, how else will you get better? That's the way I, that's the way I've thought about it. And yes, I have messed up a lot of drawings and you know what? I've started them over and that's okay. That's what it's all about is it's like falling and getting back up is is a normal thing. You know, you, it's fine. All right. All right. Brother Sashrik, here you are. I hope you enjoyed this drawing. It's been an amazing journey to get it done for you. I'm glad that you guys were all able to join me for the color of this piece. I'm going to go ahead and sign. Boom. Boom. Thank you, guys. And make sure you keep creating. 
because the balance of creation and the practice will make you better every day. Much love to you guys. Have an amazing, amazing night.